Is single malt better than blended? I don't know who Dan blended is. In this video, we are answering Google's most frequently asked questions about what is blended malt. And make sure you watch until the end of the video because I think some people might have had a couple of blended malts when they Googled these questions. What is blended malt whiskey? Let's start with what is blended whiskey. Blended whiskey is a combination of lots of different whiskeys all put together. Think Johnny Walker. Now the difference between a blended whiskey and a blended malt is that the malt will only have single malt whiskey in it. So that means it needs to be from malted barley. Whereas a blended whiskey can be any combination of different cereals to make their whiskey. So it might have grain. In fact, almost all blended whiskeys will have a high percentage of grain whiskey in it because grain whiskey is cheaper and easier to make. Whereas if you see something that's a blended malt whiskey, you know that the only thing that's in there is a combination of single malts. The idea is trying to create a whiskey that's greater than the sum of its parts. Is single malt blended? Yes and no. On the surface, the answer is no. Of course not. A single malt is not blended because it's not taking whiskeys from lots of different distilleries and putting them together. A single malt comes from one distillery. But in practice, a single malt is still going to be a combination of lots of different casks from within the same distillery. And in some ways, that's still a blend. So if you think about Glenfiddich, Glenfiddich is a single malt, no question about it. But every single bottle of Glenfiddich will always taste like another bottle of Glenfiddich if it's the same year. And that takes a lot of work to get that consistency in flavor profile. And the way they do that is through blending their own casks. Is blended or single malt better? It depends on the whiskey. I mean, I'm not going to say that a blend of Johnny Walker Blue is not as nice as Glenfiddich 12. Glenfiddich 12 is nice, but just because it's a single malt doesn't make it better than Johnny Walker Blue. And at the same time, a 60 year old Macallan is probably better than Johnny Walker Blue. And it's just because they're different whiskeys and it's a different process. And to say that single malt or blended whiskey is better than the other, that's nonsense. Is single malt stronger than blended malt? There's no reason you couldn't have a blended whiskey that was a higher ABV than a single malt. You could make a blended whiskey that was 55%, and there are lots of single malts that are 40%. So yeah, you could have a stronger blended whiskey, but it's unlikely. Most blended whiskeys are a lower ABV, and it's really easy to find single malts, particularly a cask strength single malt that's going to be over 50% alcohol. And realistically, that means that a single malt is going to be stronger than a blend, but not necessarily true. What is a blended malt? What? Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this video. If you learned something or if you just thought that those were some good spelling mistakes, give this video a thumbs up and remember to subscribe. We post new whiskey videos every week and we give away a free bottle of whiskey every month. So you don't wanna miss out. Thanks for watching. What is in blended malt?